Hi, YouTubers. Jeff Cote here. So we've got a question from Stormer. Uh, Stormer's asking, Jeff, what are the pros and cons of using, let's say, 10 100 amp hour battery banks versus five 200 amp hour battery banks for a house bank? Is the acceptance rate similar? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Um, an ideal battery is a 12 volt battery, let's say, or a 24 volt battery or a 48 volt battery, and it would be a series battery. A battery where you simply have one path and like when you buy a 12 volt battery, you can buy that at Costco, you could buy it anywhere, you could buy it at West Marine, doesn't matter, or car batteries, they're effectively six two volt cells in series. And that's pretty close to a perfect battery. Now, perfection on a boat is full of compromises, right? Because how hard is it gonna be to find one battery that has everything you need in 12 volts and that you're able to actually bring on board and place? So the reality is most of us build battery banks uh, by doing either parallel connections or parallel and series connections. So I've seen a lot of older boats uh, that have two volt cells and we're gonna see literally a battery bank made of 12 batteries wired in series, two volts, pretty tall, you know, the batteries are like the A big, they're almost golf cart and they're this big and they're on the side, one side of the boat and the other side of the boat. And they're every battery is two, four, six, eight, until you get to 24. Given a choice, always wire your boat with a series connections. But that is not all that common. Most of us have to do parallel and series. Assuming weight is not an issue, less batteries is better than actually more batteries. So given a choice and assuming you can carry the weight, it's better to have less batteries than more batteries. And um, sometimes, and you see this with a lot of builders, you know, like you're thinking about, for example, an AD battery. An AD battery is about this long, about this wide, about this high. That battery might weigh 160 pounds. You know, that's in kilograms, that's, I don't know, like probably 60 kilograms, 70 kilograms. That's a heavy battery. And so a lot of builders, and including ourselves, what we're doing was like, well, that's inhumane. How do you bring a battery of that weight on a boat? Yes, it's a battery, and it meets my requirements of one battery is better than two. But the question is, how are you going to move that battery on the outside of the engine room? And it's hard to get to. So a lot of times, we're building larger battery banks by having smaller batteries. And they become part of a building block to building a larger battery bank. So in an ideal world, you'd have one battery, but realis realistically on boats, we often wire battery banks with parallel and series connections. And we do that because it's a convenient and realistic way of bringing all that weight in a really hard to access location. Also, if you found this video interesting, please subscribe. Um, it honestly it does, it does help us to know that all this time that we're investing is actually we're reaching a lot of voters. And I wanna thank all of you for watching. Thanks for spending some time with me.